For most of my adult life, I have desperately wanted a fireplace with a mantle that I could decorate and make beautiful and of course hang my Christmas stockings from. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am and how long I've been waiting, but it's been a while. And while I do have plans to build a fireplace wall, hopefully in the near future, I still don't have one for Christmas, but that is okay. Now you're gonna wanna stick with me to the very end because in addition to the DIY lamppost project that we're gonna do, which is gonna be amazing by the way, I've also partnered with Cricut to bring you another additional amazing DIY using my all time favorite find I've ever found at the Dollar Tree. So if you wanna find out what that item is and what I'm doing with it, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. I am on my way to the store to pick up a, a few things for our DIY. I've seen a couple of episodes out there, kind of a similar idea, but they're using items from like the Dollar Tree, like stacking rolling pins on their sides, and I applaud the ingenuity. I think it's great and awesome, but I just picture my kids just destroying that within like the first 30 seconds. So today we're going to be building one that will hold up to kids and stand the test of time. Hopefully <laughs> that's the idea. All right. So it's a whole 57 degrees outside here in Florida. I know you're, there's a lot of you probably going, Oh, cry me a river, but that's actually kind of cold for Florida. But we are starting out in the garden center. Um, I'm hoping to find a pot or something that we could use as the base of the lamp. So we're gonna see what we can find. Maybe it's inside. I hope it's inside, that's warmer. <laughs> at the bottom of lamp posts, there's usually like a nice decorative um, thing at the bottom. So I'm thinking about getting a pot and just cutting a hole and sliding it on as a little decorative element. So I think this will be perfect. I'm here in the outdoor decking area and they've got several options here they've got a big spindle that i'm considering and then they also have some little spindles here that i might consider those are a little cheaper um i'm just really debating with the lantern that i have um, since it's a little bit smaller i might do this two spindles together or i might do the big bulky one all right, so we're back from our field trip and I've got my hot glasses on. <laughs> and that's because we're gonna be cutting here on my saw. I ended up deciding on going with the big one. It was only like $13.50 and it was just so much more substantial and more sturdy and I just thought it would work better overall. And $13.50 is a great price. If you got this in the indoor one, it would be about $50 to $80. Of course, this is an outdoor one, so the, the finish is much rougher, so we may want to sand it down a little bit. Depends on if you're okay with the rustic look or not. I decided I want to screw a piece of wood into the top part and for that to be flat. So we're just gonna go ahead and flip this up onto my miter saw and take the finial part off. So make sure you wear safety glasses and take extra precautions. We can cut this off, it's not a big deal. We've got this. So let's line this up and here we go. That was such a perfect cut that I can definitely use this somewhere else for something. So I'm gonna hang on to that. Um, but this is a nice flat flush cut and it's gonna be perfect. So now what we're gonna do with this post is I have some end cutoffs from a dowel that I used for another project. So I have these for free, but you can go to any craft store or even Walmart and pick up a dowel. This is a 5 8 inch dowel and it's gonna be less than a buck. So they're really, really inexpensive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole into the sides of my post and we will just use some Gorilla wood glue and glue these into the sides. And that is going to be perfect for hanging stockings or attaching a wreath or other decor. So these are gonna be very functional as well as decorative. We want our dowels to be on the same spot on either side. So I'm just gonna measure down three inches and then we're gonna find center, which on this is one and three quarter inch. 
Now I've got a wood boring drill bit, you can see here, and this just drills out really nicely for a dowel. So that's what we're gonna be using. And I'm gonna protect my eyes because I think a lot of dust might be flying. And then we are going to drill. Super easy, you can handle this, I promise you. And then we're just gonna do it on the other side. And there you have your hole for your dowel. And now it's a good time to give the whole thing a good just sand down. All right, so it's not perfect, but it's a lot less rough. I just ran my electric sander over it. If you really wanted to do a good job, then you would want to take like a hand um, sanding sponge. But this is good enough for me. <laughs> I'm not being super picky on it. Okay, so before we put our dowels in, we are going to build a base for it just so it's more sturdy. I mean, this is pretty sturdy, but you can easily knock that over. And the way we're gonna solve that is we're gonna attach this to the bottom. And this is just a piece of scrap wood left over from my bench that I built. And in the past, I've told you how to get some free scraps, ask a friend, check construction site dumpsters, and then also you can find free scrap wood on Facebook. So you don't need to spend any money on this part. So this is just for my scrap pile. And then, I picked up this, you, you'll remember from our shopping trip. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just kind of cut a rough circle. It's not gonna be a perfect circle because it's out of scraps and that's what's gonna fit. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that on top of it and then we'll cut a hole for this post to set into. This is not gonna be offering any kind of stability. It's just more purely decorative. This is shaping out great. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna put in four screws just for good measure. I couldn't get this to squeeze out, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat the system here a little bit, and we're just gonna dunk it in the glue and shove that in. Hopefully it will go in. Be nice and snug though, like that's the idea. We'll just clean up any wood glue that's dripping. So now it's almost time to paint it. But before we do so, I was looking at this and I felt like these edges were a little unfinished. So I went searching around my house and we'll see what I got in my pocket. <laughs> All right, so here's what I came up with because I didn't want to spend any money on finials. I went rummaging through some old games and I came up with a couple of chess pieces and I think this is like a mini, I don't know, checker or something. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this mini checker piece and that will finish that off and then we'll put the little chess piece on the end and that will kind of serve as a little finial and I think it's gonna work out just great and I didn't have to spend any money on it. So feel free to do that. When you need like a little something extra, go rummaging around your house, you'd be surprised what you come up with. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use some E6000. It's my go-to adhesive. It's very strong stuff. And then we're also gonna put on a little bit of this hot glue as well, just because it will give us some instant stick. Just a quick reminder that we still have that secret project coming up at the end of this episode, so make sure you hold on for that. When I originally planned this project, I had a lantern that I was going to use, and it was this one. And it's really cute, right? After I got the larger base, I put this on top, and it looked like a tiny little head on a big body. It's a really cute lantern, and I think it would have worked really well if I'd have gone with a skinnier spindle. But since I went with a bigger one, I decided I needed a bigger lantern, so I went over to Michael's and got this right here, and that looks much better, right? 
so much better. So I've pre-drilled a hole. We are going to line everything up. I think this turned out fantastic and we did it for under 40 bucks. Even with getting the new lantern, it was still under $40, which is a deal for something this big that we can use year round. Now I promised you that secret project then we'll come back and style this and you'll see it in its full glory. Now it's time for that secret project I told you about at the beginning of the episode and my favorite Dollar Tree find that I've ever come across and that is this Buffalo Check Christmas stocking. Honestly it is a really good quality and for a dollar it just blows my mind the fur is actually pretty nice and very soft and i like the color and the buffalo check is really cute but i still thought that i could take it up a notch with the help of cricket's easy press so this is what we're going to do is i found some of this strong bond cricket black glitter what i was thinking is that i could put our names on these stockings using the easy press which is i've had a chance to play around with it and it's so much fun so the first thing i'm going to do is go into the cricket design studio so for the boys i'm going to put in more of a masculine font and then for the girls then I'm gonna use more of a feminine font. So we're just gonna go in here. The so one little tip I'd give for you is that you need to set this on custom settings because it's a glitter product and under custom settings, you hit on glitter iron on, so it will cut deep enough. Now it's my favorite part, weeding. I use this pointy little tool and then we should in theory be able to pull this back and the iron on stays. Okay, so now for the fun part. We're gonna turn on our easy press. We're gonna set it to 320 degrees. And once that's warmed up, we will set it right in the middle there. I like that. So now we'll just take our easy press and warm it up for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Set it aside real quick. That warms it up. Then we're gonna place our name, press it down a little bit. And then we're gonna do 20 seconds of firm pressure. So we're gonna hit, hit our timer and that's 20 seconds there. And then we're gonna peel it back. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? I love it, look at the sparkle. I am so obsessed with this lamp. What I love about this lamp post is that it's very sturdy. This is something that's gonna stand the test of time. It's not gonna fall to pieces. And so therefore it's a really good value at under $40. So the foundation of this was probably right around 20 bucks and then whatever you spend on your lantern is going to kind of determine the rest of the cost it might be one of my favorite diy home decor projects i've ever done what do you think let me know in the comment section below what you thought and also in the comment section below let me know what you think of the dollar tree buffalo plaid stockings that i customized with the glitter vinyl and using the easy press i love Cricut products. I'm such a fan. Like seriously, I wished I would have got one years ago. They are a little bit pricey, but Christmas is coming up. So if you want to get one, I'll provide a link below. I would put it on your Christmas list because it's just so much fun and it's so versatile. The possibilities with a Cricut machine are endless. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to my channel below and making sure to turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my episodes. I hope you learned something new today and I hope you have a fabulous and wonderful day. See you next time.